In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, God's good people. Today is Monday, the 24th of April, 2023. It is Monday of the third week of Easter, Church Year A. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verses 8 to 15. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 119. The response to the psalm is, Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 6, verses 22 to 29. I read from the gospel. After 5,000 men had eaten their fill, the disciples of Jesus saw him walking on the sea. On the next day, the people who had remained on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. However, boats from Tiberias came near the place where they ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the people saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him has God the Father set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Seek Jesus and go to church for the right reasons. Seek Jesus and go to church for the right reasons. Dearly beloved of the Lord, the episode recounted in today's gospel pericope happened immediately after Jesus had fed the 5,000 men with five loaves and two fish. In fact, it was just the next day. They were seeking Jesus, and when they found him, they said, Master, we have been looking for you. And Jesus said to them, You seek me. You are doing a good thing, but for a wrong reason. The people were looking everywhere for Jesus. One could think they were really in search of him for something good. No, no. It was not because they were in need of faith. They were not looking for him because they wanted to believe in him. No. Nalanga chop. They were doing a good deed 
looking for Jesus, but for a wrong reason, for food. Jesus is not a restaurant for free food. Jesus does not do salaka to cook and share to the people generously. Jesus does not do salaka. We too, beloved, may be going to church, becoming Christians, and seeking the face of Jesus just for the wrong reasons. We may be spending time and hours in prayer just for the wrong reasons. Some may be going to church and seeking Jesus because they too are looking for food. Some may be going to church and seeking Jesus because they define merit. Some may be looking for job opportunities. If you were told that there is no heaven, will you continue to do the good that you do? Will you continue to go to church? Many seek Jesus. Our churches are filled up on Sundays and other days of worship. But very importantly, and we need to ask ourselves, why do we seek Jesus? We may be doing a good deed, but for the wrong reason. We may be like the crowd, seeking Jesus, not for faith, not because they had come to believe in him as the Savior, but because they were looking for food to eat. This is very important for us to have the right reason why we seek Jesus. That means we do things simply because we wait a reward. That means we do good, not because it is good to be good, but because we seek a reward. If, for example, we were told that there is no heaven, if we stop doing good, it is because we feel it is a waste of time. With no reward, what is the point doing good or being good? Similarly, some may be your friend and may cling onto you because of what they benefit from you. The moment they stop to get those benefits, the friendship dies. So why are they your friends? Is it because they love you and are ready to journey with you and stand by you despite all odds? Or is it because of what they stand to benefit from you? It could be you. Why are you friends with those who are your friends? Is it because you have come to love them and to journey with them in good times as well as in bad times or because of what you benefit from them? The moment those benefits cease, friendship dies. The moment they no longer offer you sex, the moment they no longer offer you money, the moment they no longer offer you the good things you enjoy, the friendship dies. Dear friends in Christ, not so with Jesus. We must be friends with Jesus for the right reason. And this is what he wanted the people to understand. They were looking for him, searching everywhere. They could cover distances to look for him, not because they were in search of faith, not because they had come to believe in him, but because they were looking for bread to eat. And truly, some of us may be Christians, not because we feel that we need to return the love that Jesus has shown us by dying on the cross for us. Some of us do good, not because we feel it is right to be good, but because perhaps we fear hell. Perhaps because we feel that there is going to be a reward for it. And no wonder, like we said yesterday Sunday, some of us feel we have been scammed because despite our goodness, we have not had the reward that we expected. Why do you seek Jesus? Why are you a Christian? Why do you go to church? And this should be the first reason. Because God has loved us first and we want to return the love that he has shown us. Whatever comes as a reward is a bonus. Similarly, a child in the house or in the family who cleans the dishes or mops the floor because they are waiting for candies and goodies from their parents has missed the point. 
You do those things because you are a good child. It is a way of returning the love that your parents have first shown you. But if you are doing them because you wait for a certain reward, when the rewards do not come, you become an eye servant. You are not convinced in the good you do, but because of some reward that you wait for. As Christians, beloved, let us love God for the love that he has first shown us. Let us reciprocate his love, and that is why we do good. Whatever comes for the good we do is an added advantage. Again, ask yourself, you define Jesus because you define work? Do you look for Jesus because you are looking for food, langa chop? Do you seek Jesus because you are looking for job opportunities? Or do you seek Jesus because he has loved you and you want to love him in return? Dear friends, let us change our mentality and let us seek Jesus for the right reason. So that whether the rewards come or not, you remain an authentic Christian. Whether the miracles come or not, you remain in the church and do not run away. Whether you are sick or in good health, you remain strong in your faith. For those who run from one church to another, seeking Jesus as though he were missing, are those who are after him just for the wrong reasons. Jesus is not a miracle worker, if that is what you are looking for. Jesus is not that great mighty man that you think he is. He is the suffering servant of God. And if you are a Christian and you have it in your mind and understand that as a follower of his, you will suffer. You too will have to carry your cross. Then, when those difficult moments come, you will stand strong. You will not give up and you will not run away from the church because you are seeking Jesus for the right reason. Oh dear Lord, we pray that you forgive us for the many times that we have been looking for you for the wrong reasons, thinking that you are a restaurant that provides free food, thinking that you are the miracle worker. Forgive us, dear Lord, and give us the grace and let us cooperate with those graces to seek you first for the love that you have shown us to return the love and also for faith. For when we have faith, even when the things we pray for and we do not receive, we remain strong in you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Seek Jesus for the right reasons.